Welcome back to Chinati Forex. Today I want to give you a quick update about the recent Google changes on its third party app access settings. As you may already aware, Google has removed the less secured app access option from its Gmail security settings from last 30th May 2022. So I received a lot of emails from clients who bought the PIP collector Forex system asking how to set up MT4 email alerts after this Google update. Do not worry because in this video I am going to explain to you the new method how you can set up the MT4 email alerts and also the push notifications on your mobile. Let's see how to set up email alerts first. For this you need to have a Gmail account so I am going to use my Gmail for this video. Once you log into your Gmail click on your profile icon on the top right corner and go to manage your Google accounts tab. Then select security tab from this left side drop down menu. When you scroll down you will see this less secured app access section. You will see a note saying that this setting is no longer available. So if you wish to get more information about why Google no longer supports this function you can click on this learn more button and get that info. To enable the email alerts according to the new method I am going to show you today you need to turn on the two step verification setting. So scroll up and go to the signing into Google section. By default the two step verification is turned off in Gmail. Click on the two step verification tab and click on the get started button and enter your email password. then it will ask you to set up your phone to your Gmail. Enter your phone number and click on next. Then you will receive a code to your mobile. Enter the code you received and click on next again. In the next screen it will ask whether you need to turn on the two-step verification click on turn on button and now the two-step verification setup is complete. Now go back and you can see a new tab called app passwords in the signing into Google section. Go to app passwords and enter your password again and hit next. Here it says select the app and the device you want to generate the app password for. From the select app menu select other tab and give a name for the app. I am going to name it as MetaTrader but you can type whatever you like. Then hit the generate button and it will generate the app password that we are going to use for MT4 platform. Just note down this app password as we will need it later. Click on done button and close this tab and go back to your MT4. So as you can see I have opened my MT4. From the top bar go to tools, go to options and go to the email tab. Then tick this checkbox to enable the email alerts. Below you will see a set of details that you need to fill. So since I am using my Gmail as my email account. I need to give the Gmail SNTP server address here. So that is SNTP.gmail.com. This is the common SMTP server address for Gmail. So you can also use the same as well. Then for the SMTP login, give your Gmail address. And for the password, give the app password we generated earlier. After that, for both from and to boxes, give your Gmail address again. Then click on the test button. Then you will get a pop-up message from MT4 saying that the message was successfully queued. Click OK and close this window. Now in order to verify whether we have got a test email alert, let's go to our Gmail and check. 
as you can see we have received a text message email from MT4 which means the email alerts are now working fine great so I hope that was helpful and next I will show you how to set up mobile push notifications this is very simple first you need to install the MT4 mobile application on your phone and log into your MT4 account you can download the MT4 mobile app from both Apple and Google App Stores and it's completely free. After installing the app on your mobile, open it and tap on the message icon at the bottom right corner. Then on the top right corner of the screen, you will see an icon called MQID. Just tap on that icon. And you will get a pop-up message with the MetaCodes ID for your app. Note down this ID as we will need it later. So after that, go back to your MT4 again. From the top bar, go to Tools, go to Options and go to the Notifications tab. So here, tick both the checkboxes and type the MetaCodes ID that we got from the mobile app. Then click on the Test button and you should get a push notifications to your mobile app. That means the push notifications are working correctly. After that, click OK to close this window. Next, we need to enable the email and mobile push notifications of the indicator that we are going to use. So here I have opened the PIP collector forex system on the USD JPY one hour chart and I'm going to take the signal indicator for this demonstration. When you open the indicator, go to the inputs tab. This is where you normally get the alerts options. To enable alerts, you need to turn these values to true. To do that, you need to select true from this drop down menu. As you can see, the desktop alerts are already activated and I'm going to enable the email and mobile push notifications by selecting these values to true. Once you do that, click OK. And that's it. Now we have successfully set up the MT4 email alerts and mobile push notifications. Thanks for watching and I will see you with another video.